A beloved local bookstore has opened a brand new location. We're going to take a little tour around this morning. Avid book reader, Courtney, Dina, is there taking a tour around. <laughs> Good morning. If you missed it uh, earlier this week, uh, Court implied that I don't read, which I is not didn't. true. I didn't. I did not. I just said Cody reads more than you. <laughs> Oh, well, I sense some internal therapy needed for the two of you inside the studio. Let's bring it out here, though. Good morning from Wild Sisters Book Company, their brand new location off of Folsom Boulevard. People, they just opened their doors for a soft launch this week, but really, the official opening is pretty much today. Like, we're, we're starting it with them. You can get gifts for the loved one in your life. Look at this idea I just found. Lift the flap puzzle. What a great idea. It's a little jigsaw puzzle that you get to actually interact with. And lift the flap. This is fun. We have Claire Bone with us, who is obviously the owner behind the bookstore. We were just at your other bookstore on Halloween for Good Day Halloween two weeks ago. How did you do this so fast? Um, I had, whoa, I'm sorry. I had a huge team yeah. of volunteer, high school kids, my kids' friends, <laughs> and our employees. We just have like a really, really great team. It's so great. Let's walk so around fun. a little. Yeah. Let's show it off. So you have gifts for basically the young and the old, right? The young and the old, yeah. So, I mean, book lovers, right? Yeah. Everything is centered around books. So you've got your bookmarks, you've got your journals, you've got your pencils, your calendars, uh, book reading timers, which is really fun. Oh. And then book lovers are often uh, stationary lovers too. So we also have like stationary stuff yeah. and cool toys in the back. Okay. So Let's keep going back. And I love it. The old brick. I mean, the feel, the vibe. Yes. It's cozy. It makes you want to just sit down and read a book. Here. Yeah, it's a hundred year old <laughs> building. And so it's got really fun hundred year old quirks yeah. that we're still learning. Yeah. And yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. You've done a great job with the space. And then there's this whole back section. So one of the things Claire also does is she features local artists or local authors rather and artists uh, to come in and feature their books. So we have someone special with us this morning. Dr. Nazi. I am carefully walking. She has written, please don't bite me. And I don't even know what that is in your hand. That is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Why do you have that? Um, I mean, well, it's adorable, I think. Is that what um, you think? But also, it's part of the Bohart Museum of Entomology petting insects, which travel to local schools. Do outreach, teach kids about nature, get them excited about science. Oh, I love that. And your book, Please Don't Bite Me, also is meant to what? To introduce us to things that maybe aren't so great. Uh, that we're familiar with, okay. but that maybe we don't know a lot about. Yeah. So everyone's been bitten by a mosquito, uh -huh. but they might not know, for example, that mosquito larvae breathe out their butts. And yep. these are all mosquitoes right here? Yep, there's some mosquito larvae butt breathing right here. They um, literally breathe out their butts? Yes, yes. They have a siphon on their butt that they what? stick out of the water. <laughs> Um, and that is how they breathe. That does not make me like them anymore, I'm telling you, though. Yeah, I mean... Even though it's silly. <laughs> I think it would be weird for other things to be butt breathers, but it makes sense for mosquitoes. <laughs> and then over here we have the adults, um, and there's male and female mosquitoes. And something that people might not know is that male mosquitoes don't actually feed on blood. Oh. It's only the ladies that oh, are Oh, the ladies it. would. Yep. But they're both butt breathers. Uh, in the water, when okay. they're larvae. <laughs> As adults, they're air breathers. <laughs> okay, yeah. we're learning a lot. And what yeah. are the? Can, you, she asked me if I could hold something, and I said absolutely not a cockroach. No, no, no. Sure? But no. But what is that one? <laughs> uh, this is a Vietnamese walking stick, um, and they are super friendly. They don't do anything other than stand and look like a. Stick. That's what you think. Are you sure? Yeah. You're not going to think I'm some kind of dinner. They can't bite, fly, jump, sting. <gasps> they just look like a stick. Okay. As the name implies. Well, guess what, friends? There's a lot more that we have to discover here this morning at Wild Sisters. It is a wild day for Wild <laughs> Sisters. So we're going to have much more. Again, the new Folsom location now open. We're going to have all the details and uh, hours of operation on our website, GoodDaySacramento.com. But you can pick up Dr. Nazi's book and so many other local authors as well. We have much more coming up in the 9 o'clock hour, including less bugs yeah. and more food. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, Dina, I looked it up. I looked it up and the butt breathers are playing uh -huh. Coachella this year. <laughs> well, that's a good activity for those yeah. of you who don't like to read, John. Yeah. So wow. yeah, you could go do that. Wow. For us <laughs> uncultured dolts. Uh, thank, thank you, you very much, Dina. Appreciate it.